Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Reggae, and welcome to something a little bit different. Today I'm not going to be bumbling through levels and failing and moaning about Cat's AI. No, today I'm going to be doing something a whole lot more constructive. I'm going to actually try and contribute some useful information to the community because I have been doing some research. So, as you probably well know, the worker cat is a fundamental part of battle catting. When you go into a level, you got your worker cat, and usually, unless you have a rich cat on, you'll have to upgrade that worker cat. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows the general principle that as you upgrade your worker cat, you, as you can visibly see, get more worker cat storage, but what you can't really see your money generation speed increases. Now, exactly how it increases, I thought, oh, you know, I should probably look that up. It'd be interesting to find out. So I looked up the wiki, and the wiki doesn't have any clue, as far as I could find. So I decided to do some experimentation to try and find it out myself, which meant maths. So to start off, what I did was set a precedent to make a fair experiment. So I got myself a level, and I got myself a slot, and I went into it and using my phone stopwatch in every single example. So if there's inaccuracies, the inaccuracies are probably much the same. And timed how long it took to get from zero monies to 5,000 monies. And so on the level one worker cat, that took, according to my stopwatch, 27.16 seconds. Then, to achieve some more figures as to how different worker cat levels get to 5,000 monies, I employed the use of cat combos, because of course upgrading my worker cat is going to have a completely adverse effect and make it an unfair experiment because I've spent monies getting my worker cat level up and that just ruins the entire experiment. Luckily, we've got the worker cat start level up combos and that has allowed me to get information for all the way up to level 4. So, the level 2 worker cat got to 5,000 monies in 25.84 seconds. The level 3 worker cat got to 5,000 monies in 24.59 seconds. And the level 4 worker cat got to 5,000 monies in 23.58 seconds. Now, there is actually a way to get a level 5 worker cat startup, although my account didn't have that. Luckily, when Ponos gave us the accounts for the Great Cat Tournament final, we had like all the Ubers. But I made sure to test that there so we had some more reliable data. And it took 22.47 seconds to get to 5,000 monies in that account. Now, level 6 and level 7 start offs are completely unachievable, but as you well know, you can use a rich cat to get a level 8 start off, and that took 19.88 seconds to get to 5,000 monies. And that means that we've got all the way up to level 5, and the max means that we can sort of approximate roughly what level 6 and level 7 are going to give us. And that's what took a lot of time and dodgy maths. So without further ado, Let's get into that. So, the first thing I thought I should do, remembering back to my nth term learning at school, is go on the internets and find an nth term finder. So I did exactly that, and I put in the figures, and lo and behold, every sequence thingy I found told me that this wasn't a real sequence, and it couldn't derive anything from it. So that avenue had to be completely scrapped, and luckily, however, I found another way to do it. So, what I did was I did level 2 minus level 1, level 3 level minus level 2, and so on like that to get the differences in time. And what that allowed me to do is aggregate the differences in time together. So, from level 1 to level 5, the differences between each level go as follows. 1.32 seconds, 1.25 seconds, 1.01 seconds, and 1.11 seconds. And then I added them all together, averaged them, and it gave me 1.1725 seconds. So, what I therefore did was subtracted that from the level 5 time to get the rough level 6 time that we think we get on start off. And that is 21.3 seconds. And 
for level 7, subtracting the average off the level 6, gives us 20.13 seconds. Now, the time to actually get to 5,000 monies obviously doesn't really matter. So while I was working this out, I also converted that to the amount of monies that you get per second. So level 1 was 181.4. Level 2, 193.5. Level 3, 203.3. Level 4, 212. Level 5, 222.5. Using the same differences method for these monies got me to a level 6 estimate of 232.1 monies, which was incredibly close to what I'd assumed the sequence was by just looking at what I'd seen before. And level 7... 241.7 monies, where I'd estimated 242, because the level 8 working at gave us 251.5 monies per second. And using the same adding of the difference each time, we got to 251.3 monies per second for level 8, incredibly close to what the figure actually was. So that's the best bet. Obviously, I've just like shouted a load of numbers, but I'm going to leave a form of document outlining the monies per second as best I could work them out for each worker cat level. And hopefully with that people can use that information to work out finer details in strategies should they wish to. Do you want to upgrade your worker cat or not at this level? Can you afford this thing in a certain time? Should hopefully allow for exact timings if those things are needed. Or you could just, you know, you spam Ubers, you'd probably be fine. But now, importantly from that research, is something that I've always kind of wanted to find out and what sparked me to look at this money generation is at what point does it become worth it, for example, to upgrade your worker cap once at the start of a battle rather than not upgrading it at all? I.e., what monies does it become profitable to upgrade your worker cat to level 2. Because the differences in how much monies per second you get is actually far smaller than I thought it would be. So, it was time to calculate that. Little public service announcement before we move on. Now, you may have been thinking this, because I certainly thought this after I finished recording the last bit. Well, Reggie, you idiot. Why don't you just upgrade to a level 6 or 7 worker cat and then, you know, from a certain point in the battle, count from one amount of monies to another amount of monies and then average that out. Well, yeah, I, that's possibly a perfectly good suggestion. But I'm going to leave that up to you to do that. And please let me know when you calculate monies per second if it equals the estimates in this video. Ah, shifting responsibility like a boss. So this next bit, I'm going to do me testing live on Super Metal Hippo so I can multitask and get tickets while testing this stuff out. So what I'm going to do is in one run, I am going to time how long it takes to get to the largest amount of monies that I can make it get to with worker cat wallet uh, combos. And then in the second run, I'm going to see how long that takes by upgrading worker cap once and seeing what kind of times we get. So I'm going to put in all the worker cap max up combos that I have, which will end up actually only being two SM combos. But that's still going to give us a certain boost in our worker cap. And we're about to find out what that is. Right. OK, start the timer. So it's 7,200 monies we're going to be working towards and we're going to time how long it takes to reach that cap. And this time we are not grading the worker cap. And I've got the worker cap max up so that we can test to the largest number possible. Because of course you need to upgrade the worker cap to get a larger wallet. And if I do that it invalidates the test and that's quite annoying. And this is all quite complicated isn't it? I, I probably shouldn't be doing like a scientific video. Like this is really not me. I have no clue what I'm doing. Right, here we go. So, I remember for a fact that I tapped that a little bit late. So I'm going to say that that was 39 seconds dead. I'm going to write that down. Right, now to try Super Metal Hippo once again. And this time we'll be going into it with the same slot and everything else. But I will be upgrading the worker cap once as soon as I possibly can to give me... Oh no, I, I've forgotten to start timing it. Hang on. Right, okay. 
timing it now and we're going to upgrade the workout as soon as possible to allow for the better money generation of the second level to go on for as long as possible. But the question is, is spending that 500 odd monies actually worth it? Because it's something that I quite often do. Maybe there's some kind of psychological element of it being less than a thousand monies thinking, yeah, that's worth it. That's going to be worth it in the long run. But actually, at which point of monies does it become worth it? I wonder. And I reckon this is going to be slower. It's certainly looking like it. Waiting for 7,200 bunnies. We're still not there yet, and it's about to overtake the time. It's actually going to be a bit closer than I thought it would be, and that's 7,200. And that is 40 seconds. Yeah, it's actually a second slower. As far as I can, combos-wise, get my worker cap max up. One upgrade, as far as 7,200 monies is concerned, there's no benefit in upgrading the worker cap. So I think we can probably derive from that 7,500 monies and up and that sort of thing. If you save into that amount is where you'll want to upgrade your worker cat. I guess only other example is if you can't afford a cat you need to buy with the first wallet. So to conclude this rather shabby piece of evidence gathering, I mean, I hope the evidence is actually correct and well-founded. And what I hope most is that I haven't just, like, you know, not found this information and that it's, like, on a wiki page that I just didn't find. That would be incredibly embarrassing. So I, I really hope that this has discovered something new and has helped some people and gives some stats that might be useful to some people somewhere along the line, maybe. That that would be great. I mean, it certainly taught me not to be so eager in upgrading my work account at the start of a battle. And I've kind of realised that Upgrading your worker cap doesn't actually increase the worker cap generation as much as I thought it would. So I'm going to take that away from the recording of this video and hopefully you'll have something to take away from this as well. But that's it. I've got my cat tickets now. You've got your information. Bish bash bosh. I hope you enjoyed. Oh and uh, please subscribe.